Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Serrano. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the A12 versus the Samsung Galaxy A13. So right here is the Samsung Galaxy A12. We have the Samsung Galaxy A13. So I'm going to be getting into a little bit more details with both of these devices and kind of comparing them to let you guys know what I think about the overall batteries performance, charging speeds, displays, um, you know, cameras. Make sure you stay locked into the end of the video. If you're very first time to the channel, I truly appreciate you for coming through. But if you're already a part of the crew, so. Oh. Alright guys, so let's just get into the overall feel in the hand with both of these phones. The A12 is going to be a little bit heavier at about 205 grams of weight versus 295 for the A13. So it's going to be a little bit lighter for the A13. It's going to feel a little bit more like, like it's not as heavy as the A12. The A12 is definitely a heavier device now that I'm holding the A13 next to it. So I just want to mention that, but the A13 is going to be a little bit more fingerprint prone, right? Look at this thing. It's like, I can't get it to be clean because of the, um, I just washed my microfiber cloth. So it's like kind of wet. So right now it's leaving streaks on the back of the, um, the device. I don't know if you can see that it's leaving streaks, but it's not completely dry yet, but I didn't want to have the phone not be like, at least uh, fingerprint free, free so that you guys didn't freak out or anything like that. But both of these devices do have a nice feel. It's just that the A12 has a better feel because it has that that material that doesn't have that, that fingerprints that show on the back of the device where you have to clean it. So it always looks clean. Every time you look at it, it looks like really clean. Whereas the A13 doesn't look as clean. And the buttons placements are pretty much exactly the same. We both have plastic frames on both of these guys. So I just want to mention that. And when I zoom in here, you can see right here for the frames, the button placement for the rocker is above. And then the power button is doubled is a fingerprint sensor. We're going to do a fingerprint test right now um, and test that out right now. So we could check that out between both of these things, right? And overall, they both look really good when it comes to the you know, feel in the hand. So you get a 6.6 .6 inch display on here for the A13 and a 6.5 for the A13. So that's another thing that I just wanted to mention as well. But you can see that the panels are going to be um, not really um, that different, but there are going to be some differences that I do want to point out because they're, they're kind of kind of they're kind of big differences. Actually, they're not minor. So, um, you know, you can see that when we up, when we look at the displays, we do get a bigger display and the chin seems to be a little bit shrunken on the A13, which is a good thing. So let me just do the fingerprint test, right? Let me do that one more time. One, two, three. Let's do that one more time. One, two, three. And then let's do that for like two more times. One, two, three. Okay, it looks faster on the A13. Let's try that one more time. One, two, three. Okay, so it looks faster on the A13. So now let's do the, they're both at full brightness, but 264 for the pixels per inch. There's, um, it's a lot more brighter on the A13, a lot more. The screen is extremely beautiful on the A13. I just got to uh, say that it's extremely beautiful when I'm looking at um, both displays. Uh, so I definitely think that's um, something that's really crazy is that you know, the one thing that's impressive is that this is a 8 nanometer processing chip compared to the 14 nanometer processing chip on the A12. First but point for the red the A12 was clocked in at 2.3 frequency and this one's only clocked in at 2.0 but when you go to the graphics right you do get ultra frame rate on here with the uh, Exynos 850. So this is actually pretty powerful. So the Exynos 850 looks really smooth when it comes to gaming for a budget phone. This is a really good gaming budget phone. Even on PUBG, it looks really clean as far as the graphics goes. So I can't complain whatsoever right now when it comes to the graphics because it just looks really clean.
It was just a really good performance overall when it comes to the gaming on here. And I'm actually very impressed with the Exynos 850. Uh, it did run really, um, not only did it run cool, but it ran smooth on, on PUBG at a uh, ultra frame rate, which is pretty crazy. So this is a pretty solid device right here. Uh, surprising when it comes to the speeds of one gaming. So I just want to throw that out there because this was a really solid performer um, just now. So we do have a P35 on here coupled with three gig, uh, actually four gigabytes of RAM on this with 64 gigabytes of internal storage, whereas the A13, you can see right here, it only runs on smooth and medium compared to the A13. So it's going to definitely, the A13 is going to be a better device when it comes to gaming. I just saw some stutter right there. The P35 isn't very stable when it comes to graphics. It doesn't it doesn't feel smooth on here. So I definitely don't feel comfortable like competing and things of that nature. But um, it does look pretty smooth now, now that it's warmed up a little bit. So maybe it just takes a little bit of time to uh, get warmed up or something like that. But, oh damn, they're running really fast. Um, it's like I can't keep up with this thing. You know what I'm saying? These They're just coming at me. That's crazy. All right, guys, so when it comes to the gaming performance on both of these guys, I definitely think that the A13 just feels a lot better when gaming, especially even looking at the displays, it's going to be a lot brighter on the A13 as well. So just an overall upgrade for the display at the, um, you know, the display is going to be a definite upgrade with this thing. So I just want to throw that out there and then it's just going to look a lot more bright and everything like that. All right, guys, so let's just jump into the cameras. 50 megapixel on the A13, 48 megapixel on the A12. Um, we're also going to get a 5 megapixel camera as well, um, coupled with it. So that's going to actually be along with it. We're getting that 5 megapixel camera wide angle lens for actually both of these things. And then a 5 megapixel is going to be on, on both for the wide angle. So we're definitely getting that. So that's going to be a good thing on both of these guys because if you go ahead and check out the cameras right here let's go ahead flip those around to the rear and on the a12 you can see it appears different they put the, actually put the numbers on the a11 i mean the a13 you can see 0.51 times and two and on the a12 it's just the three um tree symbols with and then the two tree symbols and they show you then it shows you the 0.5 times on the screen after that so you 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 could it has a different format for both of these things but let me just do a wide angle shot and this is pretty low light right now i just want to mention that right now now let's just do a regular shot oh let me take that over Okay, cool. Let me do a portrait shot of my face, right? All right, cool. So let's just take a look at all three of those photos real quick. And let's just compare them when we're looking at the overall photos. So just tell me what you see as far as like both photos or whatever. And they could both have some pretty decent details. I think I have something on my nose right now. Or that could just be a... F oh, yeah, I did have something on my nose. Okay, cool. But um, let's take a look at the next photo. Okay, cool. So the details on the A13 are really good, as well as the colors. I don't know if it's just the display that's making the colors look better on the A13, but... The A13, that's in my opinion, took a better shot here because we just got the colors just pop out easy. Like, but like I said, it's going to have the better display. So when you're looking at it, it's just going to look better on the A13. So, you know, it's not really fair, but, you know, 48 megapixel on, on the rear, on, on the A12, 50 on the 
rear for the A13. So the other thing that I wanted to throw out there though is that we're going to get 15 watts fast charging on the A12 and 25 watts fast charging on the A20 and the A13. So you're going to get a quicker charge when it comes to the 5,000 milliamp hour battery on both of these things. But let's just do an audio test real quick and test out both of these guys when it comes to the overall audio so you could hear how the speakers sound but they're both going to be mono um, you're not going to get stereo speakers with either of these things so i just wanted to mention that all right so i have the a13 here let me do a check out this song right here on this guy so it's all the way up right now Alright guys, so this is the A12 right here, so let's test out the audio. Put the volume on it. A13? Let me see. Oh, here we go. So it sounds louder on the A12 for some reason. Yeah, it's definitely louder. It's louder on the A12 for, for some reason. I'm not sure if it's something that I, I set up in the audio department. Let's go to see if we can go to sound real quick and see if there's something different with the sound. But you're going to get Dolby Atmos on both of these things. NFC is going to be on the A13, but not on the A12, right? Where you're gonna get there'll be atmos for both of these things and they both have equalizer so that's what it was i customized the equalizer on the a13 and it was at it was at my custom equalizer which is cool because you can customize both of these but let me know what you think is better i definitely think this one has a better performance when it comes to gaming better display when it comes to looking at you know your overall content even the cameras looked better when it came comes to the um you know the overall camera so it's definitely it sort of feels like an upgrade you get the updated camera module set up right here which looks really cool as well it kind of looks like an a32 or something like that or eight like um definitely looks like that but each android 12 is going to be on board with this guy as well but we're going to get android 11 on the a12 right now so hopefully this one does get android 12 but um right now it has android you know 11 for the software so i just wanted to throw that out there but another thing that i did notice is that i was getting this like update for the 8 8 um 12 right here with the, the february 1st patch so i just wanted to mention that as well but as far as the 813 i'm on the march 1st update security software update and i just checked for a software update just now and it told me that it was already up to date and stuff like that but if you made it this far let me know in the comment section you're still here but i'm gonna get right back with you and i'm gonna check you guys out on the next video but um i definitely think these devices do have pretty good performance when it comes to the you know overall speed and like you know just like the functionality out of both of these guys you know one of the things i don't like is that they don't have smart share so you know for some reason that's like a, they don't have that obviously they're not going to get big speed but if they both had smart share that would be pretty cool but um I, I don't see that feature on you know either of the on these phone we have quick share but we don't have the smart share on on here so you can't you can't you know do the you can't hook this guy up to the tv or whatever like you would be able to do on the tablets or the uh 832 series so i just wanted to mention that but Anyway, let me just get right back with you. I'll check you guys in the comment section right now. But make sure you subscribe and get notified for more videos just like this. But if you're already part of the crew, salute. Later, groupies.